options. And people want to understand what are options. And so what I want to do is take a quick little look and just do a very, very, very simplistic kind of explanation between what an option is. And hopefully I can explain it because the concept takes sometimes a little bit of time in the mind to grasp. But once it's grasped the concept, um, you're able to progress fairly through. And so there are two types of options. And so the first thing that we think about when we say, what is an option? And what you just have to do is think, if I give you the option of what you want to do, you have an option to do something or an option not to do it. If I say, do you want to come over? And you say, I don't know, it's your option. It's up to you. You have an option whether to do something or not to do it. It's completely up to you. You're not obligated. You're not bound to do it. And so when you hear someone talk about an option, when we talk about options related to stocks, we are talking about your ability to choose to do something or to not do something. And then there are two terms that we have to think about that you'll hear. The first one is a call. And whenever you hear a call, someone say, I'm buying a call, I'm, doing, I'm, I'm buying an option. A call equals buy. Okay, so if I come to you, Matt, and I say, Matt, I want an option to buy from you Tesla. That would be a call option because I have the option to buy it from you. If I have the option to sell a stock to you, that is a put. And so a put is an option to sell. And for this little example that I'm using, we're only talking about you buying an option. You're buying a call or you're buying a put. So if you buy a call, you have the option to buy it. And an option really is nothing more than a contract, an agreement between two people. Now, with the way they actually work in the market, you're not going to know who that person is. But for understanding the concept, an option is an agreement between two people to give someone the option, the right to choose to buy or not buy a stock or to sell it. So if you were having a conversation with somebody and I, I want to buy stock from you, Matt, I want to have the option to buy stock. There's two things you have to come up with during that discussion, right? So the first thing you're going to have to come up with is, okay, if you're going to buy it from me, at what price are you going to buy it? So let's say we're just using Tesla as an example. We say $550. Matt, I want to be able to buy Tesla from you for $550. And I might think, okay, I might give you an option to buy it or to not buy it. But how long do I have to leave that open? How long am I going to have to sit on the knowledge of knowing that, hey, you could come to me at any point and say, I want to buy this stock for $550 from you. And so that's where you get into the expiration. Okay, so, and I'm just going to put EXP for expiration. So let's just say you said, okay, between now and the third week in January of 2021. At the end of January 21, I no longer have the ability to buy this stock. So you're agreeing to sell me the stock at $550. And I can come to you at any point between now and January 21st and say, I want to use my option. I want to buy that stock from you for $550. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, if the stock is worth $600, I'm going to buy it from you at $550 and turn around and sell it for $600. That's how you make money in options. The other thing is that, you know, you're not going to have friends. Well, maybe you have friends. But most of the time, people are not just going to do this for free. They're going to say, okay, sure, I'll give you the option to buy my stock from me at 550 But in order to have that right, because I don't know, maybe, maybe it goes higher. You're going to have to pay me. And so that is the cost of the option, or what we call the premium. 
So in order to get this option, you may have to go to Matt and say, okay, I want to be able to buy this from you at 550 and I will give you $400 today. I will give you $400 today, today in exchange for you giving me the option to come buy that stock from you at any point between now and January 20, 2021 for $550. And you could say, yeah, sounds good. Take the money. Now that $400 is whoever sold the, the call, they're, they're, that's gone. Okay? That's what you paid to be able to have this contract, this agreement. So that's what a call is. That's what a put is. Hopefully, I know there's lots of videos. Go ahead and do some uh, other searches on YouTube. Some people can explain it a lot easier to me. But I just wanted to do kind of a live demonstration here. Kind of talk you through what is a call, what is a put. What is an expiration and what is the strike price? So this 550, this is what we would call or term the strike price. This is at what point or at what price you have the option to buy. The date at which you have to do something or you no longer have the right to do it, that's the expiration. And then whether you're, what you're paying for that is called the premium. And there's a couple things that are broken down in that, but we're not going to get into that in this video. So that is a complete mess on the board, but hopefully that helps you out and helps you kind of understand a little bit about what is a call and what is an option.